What's up guys? Welcome back to another very special episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. We are about to repair our main fleet. It was giving me a heavy ship low strength warning. So our main fleet is going to head out of here. Um, oh, we actually have been sinking 153 versus their fleet. We actually are sinking quite a few of their ships. Ships they can't afford to lose and ships that we can afford to lose. So that's good for us. These guys are now um, regulars. So we're going to stop their training, let them build back up. And we will actually start building a battle plan to invade that. Sure, why not? It's only going to let us take one territory, so we'll just... We'll take the one territory, why not? Why not? It's going to take 33 days. It's funny, because he has the amphibious preparation time minus 30%. Same as this guy. Yet this guy's not able to use it. So it's 70 days wonder why that is. Was it because I had a different general in here and I switched him around? That could be. I don't remember what I did. But it's interesting that his invasion is taking so much longer even though they have the same the same bonus. Anyway, it's fine. So we're going to invade multiple invasions. We have hopefully complete dominance over this area. We have available research. So let's um, spend that on something. I guess we'll build what? What do we want to build? Improve rockets. Yeah, we'll upgrade our rockets. Since our marines are using rockets, that would make sense. The 20 days there, 20 days. So these should actually launch roughly at the same time. Put some pressure on them. And next one will be done in 15 days. So we'll actually have be able to nuke each invasion territory right before we land there. To hopefully just organize the enemy troops right before we take it. How are we doing down in Africa? It's been a while since I've checked down here. Looks like we've pretty much cleaned it up. Why don't you guys just fucking walk there? Yeah, just do that, whatever. Do some attacking and shit. The more the merrier. I keep saying we're gonna go take this and take Northern Africa, but I just don't get around to it. It's a fucking bone field in the ocean. Just thousands and thousands of bodies floating in the water from all these combats. Keep getting the naval um, doctrines. That'll be useful for us. Absolutely useful for us. Um, we'll go back to the British Bulldogs. Ten days. Five days. And we've got one more nuke, which is three days away. Good. So keep a close eye on this. Two days, seven days. Come on, boys, I'm counting on you. Okay, so we're going to launch an invasion of those two. So let's um, nuke and nuke. Okay, so that instantly was able to make them flee. That's a good thing. Uh, what do we just research? I don't remember. One of these. Don't remember. Naval. We're pretty much out of shit to research. They were coming to the end of the tree. It's 1948. Um, so that's a good problem to have. We still have the jet engine shit to do, but other than that, um, we're out of out of all the good stuff. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll take battle cruisers. Doesn't really matter. And then, let's see. This invasion is... Are you launching now? Three days. There we go, we took it. Alright, so those nukes did pay off as anticipated. So half you guys go there. Half you guys can take Brussels. We'll um, fight down to here. Okay, so Brussels is ours. Easily walk in. Split half again. Half again can go come over here. And they're launching, so then we will... Why can't we nuke this one? We don't have 75% air superiority, really? Is it a different air zone? It must be a different air zone. So let's take... Um, 
northern France. There we go. So we'll nuke this territory, and then our soldiers will charge in into the nuclear fire. And that should be all she wrote. So let's bring our tanks over as well, now that we've captured some ports. Make this shit easy on us. Um, Team Pink, you've got your plans, so why don't we just push right to here. And you guys will push push these guys right out of here. This is like a reverse, um, like a fucking reverse Blitzkrieg. We're going from France through Benelux and just in the opposite direction. Yeah, bringing freedom fries to all you fuckers. This is what happens, bitches. All these Belgium and Dutch Mexicans, the Luxembourg and Mexicans, we're taking them out. See how long they're able to uh, stand up to the fury of Team Trump. You guys can come right down here. Tanks are just rolling right over. They got nothing for us. Netherlands capitulates easily. Free military factories. We'll, we'll work on those later. Yep, this is all, all, all over for you fuckers. Charge right down to the Luxembourg. That should capitulate them. Pretty simple. We're going to charge right through Switzerland. Switzerland's the enemy. And we're going to just rip up all this. Austria. I think Austria's still our enemy. And we're going to be stuck right in between the two giant communist powers. Just fucking crazy. Just going nuts. Luxembourg capitulates. The British Parliament is still debating if they're going to intervene in Scandinavia. I think it's a little late for that, dude. I think you're a little late to the party on that one, not going to lie. But, um, good effort, good hustle, you know, I appreciate that. Okay, so you guys are basically done doing what I wanted you to do. So why don't you just, like, push up to here. Fighting our way down through what remains of France. What the fuck is going on here? Are you guys at war with me? Oh, it's a French fucker. You son of a bitch. There's like a French troop up here that's taking territory for the Soviets. Holy shit. How does that even work? Look at this. They're taking territory for the Soviets. They're attacking out of Soviet territory. You fucks. God damn it. need you to guard this fucking shit. All of our hard work is going to the Soviets. This is bullshit. Okay, fuck it. Here's what we're gonna do. Recruit. Train. Can't set that. Um, train you guys in Washington. How many cowboy divisions can we build? Not that many. So we'll build a few. Okay, let's, let's see what the infantry division's all about. They're using still artillery. That's fine, actually. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Switch over to mechanized, which we're going to need to build some mechanized, I think. 20. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to train these infantry divisions. And were these guys all Mountaineers? They were. Just double checking. Oops, that's not what I wanted. And you guys can pop out of Philadelphia. You're gonna train with Rocky.
We've created a whole shitload of infantry. Um, we're going to have to change our policy. Extensive conscription is going to go up to what? This is 5%. Um, Next level is 10%. Another 8 million people. That's good. And we're going to want to build... Um, Mechanized. Lots and lots of mechanized. Throw us to the top. And then we will disable some of our... Uh, we'll cut off some of the motorized. We don't need so much of that. We're going to be six and a half thousand short, but we should build that up pretty, pretty quick. We've got a ton of motorized, so we can afford that. Still free military factories? Okay. Um, we will continue to add more mechanized then. Start building up the efficiency on that. And let's cut off more motorized. Do we have any more motorized? No, it doesn't actually look like it. All right, that's good. Research. Um... Nothing. Whatever. Do that one. Oh, I'm so mad at the allies. I guess I can't really blame them. They're just fighting back, but it is a piss off. So we're going to just sweep through here. Let's take out Switzerland. Fucking Soviet territory. What a load of bullshit. You guys are awfully generous with the fucking Soviets. Giving them territory that's rightfully yours, idiots. Yeah, yeah, fucking ace pilot bullshit. Let me just wipe these guys out so we can clean our border up. I'm so mad at the Soviets for giving the Allies clean passage through through their territory, allowing this mess in the first place. Uh, at least the war's almost over. 74% in our favor. American Venezuelan War is 74%. So I gotta do something about Japan. This is the, the Axis War. Japan is still a problem. British Raj is still a problem. More free factories. More mechanized. A lot of those factories that are building mechanized are damaged, though, so it's going to take a while for that to work itself out. How are you having trouble with this? You s fucking shits. You shits. These guys are not having a problem, idiots. They're winning. When I told you that. Fucking nobody, no losers are allowed on Team Trump. It's only winners. Only winners are allowed. Retreat, assholes. French fucks. And with any luck, we can cut all these guys off. And then therefore, we'll get starved out. Let's, um... Let's try to do that, actually. will just die. You can go in there, idiot. Jesus, they have a lot of troops in here. Fuck off. That's right. Fuck you. Move in. Fuck out of here, idiots. So what happens when you fight back, man? You're just gonna get yourself nuked. It's an easy way to broke break your organization and break your front line. That's for goddamn sure. So these are just standing by on their border, like, yeah, that seems legit. I'm fucking nuking, nuking the world. I don't seem to care too much. I'll take this 
territory. You have 20 dudes in there and you're shitting your pants over that? We need to build some more fucking nuclear factories. That is for sure. That's like our number one thing right now, because if we're going to continue this strategy of easily breaking their front lines with nukes, we're going to crank it a lot more fucking nukes. We're just going to load goddamn United States up with this. All nukes all day, all the time. All these T-bombs. We're going to drop T-bombs on you fuckers. I'm going to throw a couple to the top. I'm not going to overwhelm it, but we'll throw a few so we're starting to build some right away. Okay, have we cut you off yet? Looks like you guys are cut off somewhat. You probably have local supply, so... Okay, so this guy... Get us around that. And you guys are going to push through to here. Fight your way through those goddamn mountains. Man, all this hard work up here, just gone. Because of this weird, like, way that it handles borders and shit. So weird. Damn it, just fucking take this. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you guys? Seriously, just take it. How are we doing down here? You don't like this plan? What's wrong? That was a pretty good plan. Yeah, you're winning. What's your problem, man? I'm giving you all these upgraded rocket launchers and shit, and you just don't like it? These rocket launchers aren't cheap, dude. I'm gonna put them to good use. Attacking the French. Slowly winning that fight. Mm, kind of stalemated down here. To be expected, though, this is a rough area to fight in on these goddamn mountains. Okay, so how many planes do we have in reserve? Probably significant. Yeah, I got a few thousand. Let's, um... Can our fighters reach all the way to here? No, they cannot. Is there an airfield nearby? We can load up. A thousand planes here. Yeah, we can throw a thousand planes there. Let's see, where do we have a thousand planes stationed? Two thousand, two thousand, one thousand planes. Uh, where was that? Here? Right. Okay. Alpine regions, we'll get just get air superiority easily over the Alpine region. And actually, what we'll do is we'll make another wing of close air support. Just because I'm lazy, we'll just do a thousand. And then you guys will um, give some close air support. So bombing through the mountains will definitely help. Haven't fucked too much with close air support recently. Alright, so push all those assholes out. We will guard this fucking border so they can't push through again. So we'll do that. Um, you are... Oh, not fall back. Wrong hockey. There we go. And you guys are pushing down here. All good. Okay. How is our divisions coming? Did we train these guys already? No, it's still our first line waiting on. Resistance. It's pretty bad down there. It's pretty bad everywhere. So what we should do is... Um, I'll spread you guys out. Jet engines, good. We'll build some more airplanes. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, you guys. Fuck. Switzerland's capitulated. That is great news. We can bring some troops over here. 
Help guard this. Free military factories, what do we need? We still need mechanized. We're gonna have a fuckload of mechanized once that gets going, that's for sure. Okay, so, um, let's see, who's still doing something down here? You guys are all chilling. We'll just fight our way through here. You guys come, come help out. Bring in that heavy muscle. Swing that big dick. Major force. Who's this still the major force? Major faction. Still the British Raj. Fuck. Well, I don't want to go fight the British Raj. They're so far away. Okay. So you guys are also going to. Guard down here, I guess. Apparently they can attack from outside their nation into ours and nuke the fuck out of you guys. Get you to retreat. There's actually Nazi forces still left in here. <laughs> Assholes. Not anymore, bitch. Why don't you zig heil this? Zig heil my dick. Destroy their organization with a nuke and then we'll just swarm in and force them to retreat. Sorry, fucker. Fuck out of here. Okay, let's um go fight these guys up here. Take half of you. Fight up here. What a fucking mess this is. These guys are just dying in slowly of attrition. That's fine. It's their own goddamn fault. Slowly cranking up our nuclear reaction production. Nuclear reactor production, rather. Yeah, turn that fight around. Fuck these guys. Fighting back to the mountains. Man, we're really gonna have to go invade either Japan or we're gonna have to invade fucking the British Raj. What a pain. I don't want to do either. We have a territory over this side. Anything? Somebody's getting invaded here. You know, kingdom? There's a fight going on here somehow. We have the Philippines, I guess. Are we allowed to develop the Philippines? No. We can control troops here, though. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we do. Maybe we do invade Japan. We'll wait till these troops are done building over here. It's a little while to go. Maybe we use these troops to invade Japan instead. Floating airfield. All right. This is who? Who's this owned by? This is owned by Soviets? Controller. Owner. China controls. Oh yeah, China had like a little fucking province in there. That's right. That makes perfect sense. Cleveland class, cool, whatever. Bunch of fucking ships we're never gonna build.
Okay, well, you know what? We've done what we can in Europe. We've cut up the middle out of Europe. We've almost completely conquered um, Africa. So this is this is uh, well on its way to being conquered. So we'll have Africa before long. So now the question is, do we want to go to war against the Soviets first, or do we want to finish off the Axis powers? And I'm, I'm inclined to say we finish off the Axis powers first. Let's get some of these wars over. So we start posting up. If we get start posting up in maybe the Philippines and use that as our sort of landing, we can actually maybe even invade, invade France from here and then get through to the British Raj. I imagine they'll capitulate pretty quickly if we nuke them. Maybe. We'll see. We're going to figure that out for the next episode, though. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, as always, much love, many kisses. And please join me next time for the next very special episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, our Team Trump edition where we are well on our way to complete world domination. I think we got this one on the bag. Um, so we'll see how much longer we're going to play and see how much more territory we want to take. So thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.